This is the craziest book I've ever read in my entire life. I ordered myself like this drink that they give us when we walk in. It's called the welcome drink. It has like mango and tahine and tequila. And it's so good. And before any of you come for me, I am of age in Mexico. So I can legally enjoy this. I haven't even like introduced this video. I'm in Mexico. I am in Puerto Vallarta and it's beautiful. I haven't really vlogged anything. I've literally been reading this book nonstop. It's called Verity. It's by Colleen Hoover. It's a thriller and it's like the best book I've ever read. I'm gonna like give you guys a full review once I finish it, but it's so good. I'm gonna vlog my whole trip here. I'm with Cooper's family, I'm with Parker, we're sharing a room and his parents are downstairs eating dinner but me and Parker just gonna order some room service and we just came here to relax and spend time together so I'm really excited. I got tacos! They're fish tacos. Fucking hot! I'm literally melting. I just wet my hair by accident, but I don't care. I'm not washing it. I feel better. I'm not gonna lie. I almost had a heat stroke. <laughs> I just got out of my massage. I had a massage, but I didn't want to film in there because that would have been extremely awkward. So I had a massage, it was great, I feel relaxed. She was like, there's a lot of tension in your neck and I was like, girl, I know, tell me about it. It is currently 11 and we're gonna eat breakfast. I just ordered a coffee and a green juice. I ordered a coffee because yesterday I had like a raging headache all day and I couldn't figure out why and it's because I didn't have any coffee all day. And if you guys know me, you know I drink a lot of coffee, so. I'm gonna go put on a shit ton of sunscreen because I'm so sunburnt and I'm about to lay out in the sun again, which is very dangerous because I'm literally Nessa's date to the VMAs and I'm going in two days and I'm gonna look like a lobster. So, uh, you know. It's fine. Okay, let's do SPF 50 since I'm sunburnt. I'm in pain. I'm in actual pain. I put a lot of sunscreen on. Hopefully I don't burn because I'm kind of in pain, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like really, really red and toasty and cooked. I'm cooked. I'm like a good medium rare right now. I'm in our little cabana because I started melting. Just wanna sit down and talk to you guys for a second because I haven't been really talking to the camera this trip I've just been kind of filming things and I'm being a terrible vlogger so let's chit chat so I'm in Mexico I am with Cooper's family um, they've been coming here for a long time since Cooper was two I believe and I came with them last year if you go through my vlogs there's a Mexico vlog of me and Cooper here and it feels really good to be here it's definitely weird because you know last time we were here Cooper was with us but it's like kind of a bittersweet thing and it's honestly, I feel like been helping us a lot. I feel him the most here than, than I have over the past couple months. He, you know, I catch myself like waiting up, like walking slower because I'm like expecting him to catch up with us. And it's hard. I'm really 
grateful and I'm really blessed to be here with his family. I've always really felt part of their family and especially now more than ever, I'm I'm just really blessed and grateful to have them. So, And I wanna get better. I don't wanna feel sad forever. And it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to be sad, it really is. But you have to not dwell in the sadness and not get comfortable with it because then it's gonna be impossible for you to get out of it. You can't enjoy being sad. And that's a lot easier said than done. And I know that because once you're in an episode and you are going through depression, it gets comfortable being in it. It really does. Sorry for getting so sappy with you guys, but I'm very big on like mental health. I feel like that's really what my YouTube channel is based around now. I want to be kind of a comfort for you guys and I'm, you know, sometimes watching YouTubers and like watching vlogs where it's like 6 a.m. morning routine and they like fucking do eight workouts and eat healthy food all day and like get a bunch of work done like that's just not real and I don't want you guys to think that's real because it's not sometimes I lay in bed all day and you guys know that I vlog all of it but I just want to be a place where you guys can come and be like I don't have to be like the best version of myself all the time like sometimes I'm the worst version of myself I'm going through it and it's okay to go through it it's part of life you know but that's what it is. It's part of life. It's not all of life. And there's there's good parts too. And you just gotta remember that. I got some comments last video being like, oh, like she's glamorizing bipolar disorder and anxiety and depression and she's like making it quirky and it's like that's not what I'm doing. I just I go through a lot of shit and I cope with it with humor because that's what makes me feel good. I can't sit there and cry about it because then I will never get up. So I joke about it on my YouTube channel and I'm sarcastic because it helps me cope. I have a fun day planned tomorrow. I'm really excited and I will bring you guys with me because I'm so happy to be here with you guys. And I love you guys so much and I'm being so sappy. But seriously, like when I tell you guys thank you for hanging out with me, I mean it. Like this is my therapy as well as yours. I love talking to you guys and you guys are my friends and I'm just grateful. I'm very grateful today, so thank you. I love you. Just out here contemplating life, you know. I usually don't like sunburn. I mean burn. I don't usually don't get sunburn because I'm I'm Hispanic, I'm Mexican, and like I'm just used to being tan. But whenever I come here, I get burnt. Like last time I was peeling everywhere and it was disgusting, but I kind of love it at the same time. Honestly, I shouldn't. I, I will say I do wear sunscreen. I wear a lot of sunscreen, but I still get sunburned. So, my view's pretty crazy, and the camera's not doing it justice, but this is what I'm staring at right now. I want to start, like, wearing my hair natural again, because, as you can tell, I have, I have actual curly hair, like, spiral curly hair, but I never wear it curly because I just genuinely don't know how to style it or make the curls look good. They just always look like a frizzy mess. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know and comment them down below because I don't know how to style my hair, but I like my hair curly. I just literally can't do it and I keep frying my hair with a straightener. It's just not good. So if you can let me know how to style my hair, that would be awesome. Or like what products I should use. I can make a whole video about it if you guys want. I miss my cats. I miss my cats very much. Traveling is definitely not on the top of my list. Here's my thing. I like being in new places. Like, I love being here. I feel amazing here, but I hate the process of traveling. Packing is the worst, and getting on a plane is the worst. Like, I just hate, I hate having to get there. But once I'm there, I have a blast. I just hate packing, and I hate unpacking, and I hate leaving my cats. But I love being in new places. So I'm very split down the middle, and conflicted about how I feel about traveling. But when it's like tropical like this, I 
would do anything. I would do anything on my hands and knees to be somewhere like this because it's so beautiful and I love being in the sun so much. I honestly kind of had this huge fear of the ocean for a really long time. Like, I still do. I don't like stepping on things and not knowing what I'm stepping on. I hate that feeling, but um, I kind of got over it when we did Cooper's service and we had that paddle out and I went on a surfboard with Parker and we literally paddled out pretty far into the ocean. That was the first time I'd ever been in the ocean like that. And it was honestly really fun. So I feel like that kind of helped me get over it. And I think the ocean's beautiful now, but I still probably wouldn't get in it without Parker because I was terrified. It really feels like we're on FaceTime. Like whenever I vlog, I just feel like I'm on FaceTime with you guys. And then I like look up at the viewfinder and I realize I'm just talking to myself. But am I really talking to myself? No, okay. I think I'm gonna go inside and shower because I'm covered in sunscreen and sweat. I love you so much. We just made out. You're welcome. I feel like we should give you guys a little backstory on why we all have butterfly tattoos. I have them on my left hand. It was a mistake, but, but it was, it was a happy mistake because I have I have multiple tattoos on my left hand for Cooper. I have the butterflies over here and then I have a C on my ring finger. And I have a lot of Cooper tattoos on this side, but the butterflies, do you want to tell the story? I don't even know how I decided to get two butterflies on my wrist, but I think I just like, saw my friend's body on her, I think it was like her arm, and I was like, wow, these are so pretty, and so I wanted to get tattoos and like my rule for tattoos is that I would never touch my left arm or hand because engagement who wants to marry me so I decided to do it on my right and then Cooper eventually saw them and loved them and then he got them by Romeo I got mine by Justin shout out I got mine by Romeo too yeah and then one day shortly after Nessa saw them Nessa liked them and she got them and then us three only had them for a while, but for Cooper and I, it was more symbols of like him and I, like brother, sister. I'm glad everyone's getting it. It's, it's like a, it's a good thing. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. It's a cute thing. It. We all have Do you want to show yours? It's a family thing. Oh, Mom's okay. are in her rest. On her wrist. And it says Mama and Cooper's writing. We actually have this, like this tattoo is from the same letter. Yeah. And then mine's on my neck. Cooper. It needs to get touched up on the same. Yeah, it does. 